Those of us who've been working in poor communities for a long time had been arguing that it's the right thing to do morally. And maybe, maybe it would even be the right thing to do economically. But it was only recently that the most definitive and important paper was written. And this was um, a, a, a paper that was uh, uh, the, ch the, the chief author, uh, the, the lead author was Larry Summers, former Secretary of the Treasury, former uh, president of, uh, of Harvard. He had authored the 1993 World Development Report called Investing in Health. Now, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in just a bit. But in this paper in The Lancet, he, he, the, their analysis showed that between 2000 and 2011, 24% of growth in full income uh, in developing countries resulted from improvements in health. 24%. So now, it, it's, it's, it's not arguable anymore. And certain of the uh, in interventions, like uh, HIV treatment that extended the lives of people in Africa so dramatically, malaria treatment that had gotten so much better in which we were able to reduce mortality from malaria, those were some of the great interventions. But better health was 24% of the growth in full income. And so they argued that the economic benefits would exceed the cost of investing in health care by a factor of nine in low-income countries and a factor of 20 in uh, middle, lower and middle-income countries.